Hey everyone, Reed here. Today I'm going to talk about the release of one of Power BI's most requested features, KPI icon sets. These sets have been around in Excel for a very long time, and there have been ways to somewhat reproduce this with DAX measures in Power BI. However, with this month's release, they are now built in and native to the Power BI tool. So I'm going to walk you through how to add them, plus how to import custom KPI icon sets as well. So let's get started. Now if you take a look down here at the bottom at this matrix table, you'll notice that there's a few different set of icons that I've added. You might recognize from a previous video the Doom Guy face over on the right plus those Zelda hearts that change the icon depending on the data. Now on the very far right is what I discussed in a previous video, so if you're interested on how I did those and the measures themselves, I will link you to the article here. And it's also not far removed from that SVG sparkling that I made that I'll also link in the video references as well. And like I said, you've been able to use DAX measures for a while to create a specific measure that just returns that icon itself. And that's what we have here with these two little measures for KPIs for those Zelda hearts, plus this little image as well, or this GIF I should say, for that Doom Guy face. Now notice immediately to the left, I have them built in to the average amount per unit and units here. So rather than needing a separate column for this in the matrix table, it's included here on the left. So I will talk to you in a minute about how I made these, but first I want to bring our attention over to that sales amount where you see these icons sitting next to it. Now those are using the default icons built into Power BI. So let me show you how those are added. I'm gonna come over here to sales amount, hit that down arrow and go to conditional formatting. Notice that there is now one for icons. If I select that, we get a menu up here that gives us the options for all of our icons. And in this section here, you can see all these icons just like we have in Excel. But what I've also done is actually imported a set of custom icons that we have down here at the bottom. These icons are actually made because what we have by default is a red down arrow, some yellow arrows that go in the middle, down or up, and then a straight up green arrow. And I wanted to have some flexibility with these, some of the down triangles and up triangles as well that are natively just red and green. So I created a combination of every single color down here at the bottom for all of these. I was actually able to obtain the original SVG images for the icons up here. So these will be a pixel perfect match to the original icons, but just giving you more flexibility to choose between yellow, green, and red in this area. And essentially, it's a very similar practice to doing conditional formatting where you have data bars or background colors or font colors. You can really do a percentage in here. Um, the default is 0, 33, and 67, just like in Excel. But I can also do a whole number in here as well. And then I have a little bit of design choices in terms of where do I want the icon to show? And then what do I want to put it at? Top, middle, or bottom in terms of alignment. Now we do have another option as well. Rather than format by rules with icons, we also have a choice to format by field value. That means use a measure to return the result instead. Now I won't walk you through all the details of this. I have another video that again, I will link here to show you how to do that. But this allows you to reference the measure, which is how I achieved these icons over here. That KPI for the Zelda heart and the KPI for that Doom Guy face built directly into units and average amount per unit. So let me show you these measures. So if I go to units and I go to conditional formatting and icons here, notice that the field value is based on the field, the Doom Guy Health um, DAX measure that I have in here. And that simply just does a calculation in the measure itself. If I just open this up, there you are. See, all of the conditions are already built into here. So it checks to see you know, the ranges for any of the units, if it's greater than these numbers, and returns one of a series of GIFs that I have hosted on my website. And again, the link for further descriptions on how to do field-based formatting or create these are gonna be in the video links there on the right. But overall, this opens up a lot of possibilities. You can import custom ones, you can bring in default ones. Now to get the custom one brought in to this file, that is actually gonna be part of the theme file itself. So this import theme button here will connect to a JSON file, like any of these that has typically the classroom theme, um, that I like to use for my colors. And then you can also have a lot of default settings for visuals built into here. And now in addition to all of that, you can also have the custom icons come into here. Now currently for KPI icons, there are three things that are supported. There is SVG images, there are regular images as well, and then there are GIFs. Now I'm not gonna go into too much detail about how to make that JSON file, but I will be providing them as part of the download files in my blog files folder. If you are a subscriber to my mail list or if you wanna go ahead and sign up for that, you'll be able to download both this file that you see in front of you plus those JSON files. 
Now I've included a few icons in here, those arrows that you see, as well as a couple of other just color variations on a few of those base icons. Now there's a more complete list over at powerbi.tips that I encourage you to go download that has both my icons plus a lot of icons that Mike Carlo made. So that will contain a much more complete list uh, to download and I would recommend exploring that since there's a lot of other cool visuals like the battery, the speaker, the light bulb, um, and so on. And the link to that will be down in the description below as well as on my blog files page. And that about covers it for this video. If you like this video, please click or smash that like button below. If you have any comments about this video or a suggestion for a future video, please go ahead and add that to the comments section. And if this is your first time here or you wanna see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. And otherwise, I will see you in our next video.